I'm hoping I'm live. It doesn't say I am. Which is worrying. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I had to wait for the phone. Okay. Hello. Part three of this fail everything. I don't know how much of this there is left. So this might be a completion or it might need another part, I'm not sure. I'm just going to get into this. Uh, is it supposed to be like that? That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Yeah. Nobody moves until I give this signal, is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. <laughs> what the fuck is that girl doing there? Mars comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. The massive pain in the ass, that's what she is. Is it gonna make me play like this? What if we go over to the police? No? She's seen them. No, it's not going to let me. Oh my god. If I have to do this once more... Thank you very much, Mal. Every bloody time. Update it twice, just in case it doesn't happen. Right, thank you, Mal, and hello. Thank you for the uh, heads up there with uh, stupid Twitch and its stupid Twitchy Twitchiness. Right. Let's see if we can get off this. Uh... She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Us just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The He's police. fucked. They're out he got... there. I think they're here to arrest you. Oh, she's noticed they were police then. Another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Well, Wait I'm... for a go on my word. Well, we're clearly going to let him get arrested. I mean... I, mean, I could just walk about aimlessly all day here. Or we could go out and tell him, tell them that he's here. Hey, he's in here. They're still out there. Pair of idiots. No, oh, for God's sake. If I spend long enough just you walking can't get out that way. Well, you could go upstairs. For God's sake. Now, I know it wants me to look up there. Let's just see, because the game might time me out or not. How are you anyway, Mel? I hope you are well. Thanks for dropping by, I really appreciate it. Alexa, shut up! There's a light up there. Alexa, will you shut the hell up? No. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Alexa, no. Nosy bloody Right. They're not going to come in. So we're gonna have to try and do something about this.
that we need it to fail. Whatever it is I we figure out, it needs to not go well. Up here, look. Point yourself over there. There you go. Nope. Uh. Uh. <laughs> God, this is awkward. They would have come in by now. I'm very disappointed that they haven't come in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jaden. Out of the question. I'm coming. Nice. Two men at the door hold your positions. It's a go. Okay, okay. Well, we'll just stay in this position then. Oh dear, I failed it. Oh dear, I failed it. Whoops. 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 Now don't just wait outside awkwardly. Nice. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, is this after she banged the protagonist? Um, she didn't get to arrest. bang him, but you have the right to remain silent. technically you're correct, yeah. Instead, she that, uh, awkwardly tried to help with a burn wound and it completely turned him off and then she just left. So, that, never, that little scene never happened, thank God. Thanks for the trophy. Now, what's going to happen now? I mean, he's supposed to have gotten away and he didn't, so... I don't know how this is going to work now. I'm not here to judge you, Ethan. I'm trying to save the life of your son. We still have time, but it's running out. Help me, Ethan. <laughs> Hopefully we get Tell a band you know. Yes. Right, what do we know? We know nothing, so we're not going to say a word. Ethan, I'm trying to help you. I just want to understand what happened. But you have to trust me. Nope. Stay quiet. I know my rights. It's going to force me into saying victims. Look at these, Ethan. Look at these. Eight photographs. Eight lives taken. Drowned. In the goddamn rain! <laughs> Recognize this one, huh? That's your son, Ethan. That's Sean. He is still alive! I am a large mouth Talk glass in me, a suit. <laughs> Say something! Nope. I'm, com I'm tempted to press angry. God damn it, Ethan! Where is Sean? I kidnapped my son. What? But I can't remember what happened. Why are you saying that? I don't know where he is. The only way to find him is to let me out of here. I'm the only person who can save him. Bullshit. Let's go aggressive it with just that. Doesn't add up, Ethan. Yeah, Stop Ethan. This pathetic nonsense and tell me the fucking truth. Ooh, language. I love my son. I love my son. If you keep me here. Someone's going to get a letter. <laughs> or strongly worded email. Yes. <laughs> oh, 
Why don't you beat him? Beat him up. Time's running out, Ethan. And yes. Frankly, I don't care why you did it. The only thing I want to know is where you've hidden Sean. I don't know. And I'm just going to sit here. I would already have seen him if I knew where he was. Okay. This is your last chance, Ethan. And this time, I suggest you think carefully before you answer. Where is Sean? He's in the rain. I told you, I don't know. Ah! Yes. Wrong answer. I asked you a question, and now you're going to answer me, even if it takes all night. Where is the kid? <laughs> Where's the crossover between this and Subnautica, where Reddit is trying to drown a Reaper Leviathan and Jaden is trying to save it? <laughs> that's the next update. That's that's in below zero. Yay! Beat, beat. Yeah. Don't try and stop them. Wow. Fucking cripple you! <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but. <laughs> Have enough yet? Nope. No way. I'm just gonna stand here and look awkward. It's funny how stupid this cop is. Yeah, it really is. The whole game's hilarious, really. Gone up for a quick sig there. Now, how can we screw this up? Uh, what's in here? Uh, don't know quite what it would expect me to do, really. Nothing? Okay, there's nothing in here. Interesting. Let's just leave. Oh. Blake is trying to beat a confession out of wow. Ethan Mars. You've got Whoops. to do something. Which is more important, Norman? Finding little Sean Mars or sparing that lowlife a few bruises. You can't make omelets without breaking a few eggs. God oh, wow. Damn, Ethan Mars is innocent. What? He was back to looking for Sean if we to have any chance of finding him alive. That's badly done, this Matt. This case has worn you out, Norman. You need some time off to think it through. Yeah, time off. Bullshit. Nope, not doing anything. Oh, take the oh, take the drugs, yeah, for real. We got yeah, we're trying to get him have a drug overdose as well. Uh, so these bruises are from after he was arrested, so he was beaten in lockup. I'm afraid you're all fired. He gets an eight-figure payday. Cheers, chuckle fox. Yeah, <laughs> that's in reality. Yeah, that's quite uh, close to that. But uh, this game doesn't seem to have any real correlation to what I mean he was just saying like you know he was convinced Ethan had done it right let's get this piano wrong nice yes it's a David Cage game of course that gives it it's the uh, excuse <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> it's that glove. <laughs> you idiot. Your vodka, sir. Mm. This is arguably the best one, Thanks. either this or Detroit, but the best sack of garbage is still etc. Et et the worst one for me was Fahrenheit. Problems with the investigation? 
Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this him? father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Is this guy that... Mars privy is to not all the army killer? I'd stake my life on it. The information. Then who is? He's from I the Shining. Have the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession, Mr. Torrance. That's just what I was thinking of doing. That is the guy from The Shining, oh, and he's privy to all the police answer. information. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That's what we're trying to go for. We're trying that to go for that. would be most unfortunate, sir. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. Um, you love that one. You fight a Mayan pri priest, Matrix style. <laughs> the, the physical embodiment of the internet, and there is necrophilia. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It, it just. It was a strange jump to me from the beginning to the end. That's all. And it isn't as good as this one, I feel, personally. Or Detroit. Detroit being the better one of them all. That's just my personal opinion, though. Now I've got to go through all this again? Fuck's sake. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. There's nothing the new. video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Okay, so Seth, here's my rule for David Cage, David Cage games. Okay. Uh, what do I do with this? The stupider the nonsense, the more entertaining it is. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, definitely. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637, that could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Nope. Yes, one of those. Uh, we've looked at that already, right? I suppose we've got to go through them all to pass this bit. Wait, I didn't do uh, this. Oh, great. These glasses are rubbish. <laughs> Beyond Two Souls. Oh, I forgot about that. Beyond Two Souls. That's the worst one for me. Not Fahrenheit. Okay. Uh, Beyond Two Souls and Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy, if you're a yank, <laughs> are the two most stupid and nonsense, so they're the most entertaining. Yeah, Beyond Two Souls. Mm. I'm going to have to go through all that, aren't I? If I'm going to do this. Ah, pity we can't see the driver's face. Except Fahrenheit. I can't get hold of Fahrenheit on PS4 for some reason. Yeah, murder ghost adventure. It was. It's a good concept. It just went strange. Like the bit with the Native Americans. I found that a very strange part of the whole thing. I know it's about ghosts, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just overly critical. I know I'm overly critical. Um, what do I do here? Just get rid of all this. We don't want any of this shit. Can I leave now? <laughs> I don't want him to figure anything out. I've read all these, though. Any concept David Cage has are decent, There's always a railroad line adjacent to where but are executed found. by a monkey. <laughs> and all the victims disappeared in the fall. I did enjoy Detroit, though. Detroit is good. The killer is white, age between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has, he has a, a car. car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Okay. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Where's the, uh. I've done this. 
go. What am I supposed to do here? I'm sure it's not this because I've just checked these. I'm ch Uh, he literally only has one tool in his writer's toolkit. A big fat sledgehammer that has a giant hammy fist at the top and is labelled melodrama. <laughs> Not a fan, then. <laughs> Ugh. I've, I've just done this one. What haven't I pressed? It never, there's never any data for that. Right, switch to the other one. I'll do this. I don't like these bits at all. Oh, there you go. Look, something there. He writes his stories the way mold congeals in a bus station bathroom. <laughs> That's a pretty good interpretation of that. Uh... I've obviously missed one of these, I don't know. Re re watch this again. No, you get nothing. What do you want from me? Fucking hell! Did you know his studio got in trouble when it was revealed someone made a nude Ellen Page model for Beyond? Uh, I didn't know his studio got in trouble. I know his studio is in trouble at the moment for um, that stuff about overworking and um, crunch and misogyny as well. Apparently he uh, does not treat his female employees very well. It's all alleged, so who knows, eh? But I didn't know that, no. I've seen that mod, that nude model uh, for Beyond. Uh, it's on uh, oh, what's that platform people make games on on PC? Um, oh God, I can't remember Itchio or something. Uh, yeah, and they used that model in that in a lot of those little games. Uh, The car was stolen. Let's see, a certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. Okay, well that was slightly different. Um, I know if it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, and utterly fails at writing believable characters like a duck. <laughs> ah, what's this? Jackson Neville, a.k.a. Mad Jack. Mad Jack. Involved in several right. cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. Excellent. We're off top bit. Perfect. Dangerous person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's obviously got that name from somewhere. Take your glasses off and go home. Or take some more Tripto. I just like to mention that this port of Heavy Rain on the PS4 is absolutely dreadful. And you can tell it's absolutely dreadful from the actual facial features here on this character, right here. On PS3 he had much more, much better graphics. On this, it, it doesn't look right, it doesn't look the same. It just, it, it got an expressionless face, it's ridiculous. Why break something that does, I don't know. It honestly looks like Deadly Premonition. Oh, don't Did say Morris that. Confess? <laughs> no, not yet. It's not as bad as that. <laughs> we'll give him a break and then we'll get back to him. He lost consciousness? Than I thought. Damn. Tough or not, he'll crack. They oh. all do. 
Hi. In any case, I'm important. Lieutenant. You've done a fine job. Fine job, Lieutenant. I a press conference. Going to kick off in one hour. I expect it'll be quite an event. Don't you want to wait until we actually got his confession? No point. We've got no point. To rise. No, That's no point in waiting. To know. <laughs> we got him. Ethan Morris is innocent. He's he not. He truly <laughs> believes that he alone can save Sean. What if he's right? He's wrong. I'll play those odds. I've got to get him out of here. What? Are you serious? Well, we're going to fail this. Uh, all right. Let's see if we can kick it off first. Uh. Has he confessed? Hmm. Not yet. I see. Kick, kick him more. Kick it out of him. Leave us alone. I... Uh, Lieutenant Blake said to... Please. Him. Leave us alone. Ooh, all right there, Mulder. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ, are you all right, Ethan? <laughs> you stood there and let that happen. So don't pretend to be his friend uh, now. Uh, uh, uh. Never argue with a large mouth bass in a suit, no. I learned that the hard way. Right, let's uh, try and lift him up and then fail. If we can just... Oh! <laughs> okay. One more of those, please. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. I've gotta save my son. Let's see what I can do. <coughs> nope. Okay, so uh, let's have a quick wander around here. I'm gonna find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. Stay put. I'll be back. What? Oh, mirror. Yeah. All right. Uh. Okay. Yeah, you just stare at me. Keep coming in here, but oh, you could turn the camera off, right? Is the camera on or off? That's a problem because normally there's a stupid red light. To... Ah, mm. that yeah, that's not how I wanted it to go. Shit. I could reload it. Nah. Whatever happens, happens at this point. He loves just barging into that guy's office, doesn't he? I'm just wandering anywhere now. Can we go in the loop? Ooh. Okay, what have we got here? This is where you say, this is where you notice you have no teeth. Nope, okay. <laughs> There's somebody sat in here, look. Hey! Well, have a quick pee. That's fine. <laughs> Large mouth bass needs water, bloop bloop. <laughs> Did he just have a little... I'm not going to say it, but I'm sure he did. Look at that. Didn't even wash his hands. Absolute filth. Bloody FBI, they're all the same. Right, what's in here? Because he's evil. Oh, this is my office, if you can call it that. I'm a bit gutted about that camera, but I, I, I don't know. 
whatever at this point. This is the first time I've ever wanted QTEs to actually happen. Wait, 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 what was that? Oh, ah. Oh, water, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You're right there, Mal. <laughs> and what about you? You don't, you don't say anything, do you? I thought the key, I don't know. Anything here to do? There's a whole lot of nothing going on. Oh, I wish you could sort a sprint. I know it would be a bit weird, but at least a little faster. Okay, we've got that. Somebody having a nap. Out the way, lady! Uh, somebody trying to break out. <laughs> that was a bit odd. Um, well, but she's in there. Invisible man. Oh, and this room here. So, I mean, I've done more or less the circumference. What's this? Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. What desk? My desk? Your desk? Whose desk? See, there's the female officer from Deadly Premonition. <laughs> it's a crossover! What desk? I mean, it's not going to be in here, right? Obviously. That would be silly, right? That would be stupid. I'm going to find a way to get you out of here, Ethan. <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing a bang up job. Okay, so that just boots him out. What desk? Must be one of these out here. Ugh. But which one? We're going to have to go through all the empty desks now. I went to the bathroom and drank water, Ethan. It's all I could think of. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not a key. That's a, that's. A, all right. Well, I'll take this to Ethan and see if this coat will help him. Wait, let me just check the rest of the desks. Aha! Ah, there you go. Right, let's go. I'm presuming this is a set piece and that there's no way of actually ballsing this up. Because it does seem quite linear. It does seem a little linear. Right. Uh, let's unlock these. Oh, it's right. Turn that free. camera off. Hey, don't snatch. That's rude. Okay. Here, put this on. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop. Don't talk. Don't even think. Just walk. Oh, please let me control him. Say. Hey. Just say you're gonna save your son. Oh, you will. Uh, so why don't you drop in with a Mazamune stab, everyone, and he can break out like Cloud did in Shinra HQ. That's a fantastic idea. And much, a much better, more interesting thing to watch. That's bullshit. They should have let me control him so that I could have gone straight to the police officer and said, look what Ethan's done. He let me out.
Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt <laughs> is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Yeah, turn that off, because that's not important to your situation. Oh, not you again. I brought some food. Yeah. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Everything? That's a small bag for everything. Don't say a word. <laughs> it's a bag of holding. Well, it's got to have everything in it, so I'm expecting everything. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Yeah, Every Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? Hell yeah. Well, he's not, but... Br break. I can just say nothing, okay. Why do you pronounce it like that? Pronounce what? Do you mean Mazamune? I've always said it like this. that. I know it's Mazamune, or the people have, everybody's got a different you, way of saying it, and I've always said Mazamune. I don't know why. It's probably not the way to do it, but... I... Always have. <laughs> I sometimes have these blackouts. Oh! Times where I <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Okay, she As pronounces origami really dumb. Right. Completely different. Disregard that last ten seconds. The only thing I remember afterwards <laughs> is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me. Testing my, my other self? He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. And you failed all but one. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. Let the body sit the floor. Let the body sit the floor. Let the body sit the floor. We're drowning pool now. <laughs> Alfie. Hey, Alfie. That was lovely to see you. Raiding with a party of two raiders. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Alfie. It's been a while. You're destroying yourself. Thank you for dropping in. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. Hey, it's so it's cool, Alfie. It's awesome. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. Get a grip, Ethan. Please, Madison. Leave. Forget I... everything that's happened. There is nothing. Yeah, I've not heard good things about Evil Inside, personally. But I mean, I haven't if played it, so I don't know. Leave. It's really short, I've heard. Lead me to do this on my own. Oh, there, there we go. Completed in an hour and seven minutes. Damn! That was rough. Oh, Mal. That's awesome. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Alfie. That's really cool. Mal, you're the best. Did she, wait, did she just leave? She just left. Oh, that's fantastic. I know, sweetie. <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> right, next trial to fail. Now go scan me a Reaper Leviathan. Yeah, all right. I knew there was a catch. I knew it. Last trial now, Ethan. This is it, this is the one. Are you prepared to kill someone to save your son? Brad Silver, 6784, Longway Road, Lexington. Kill him, send a picture, get your reward. Ooh. Well, 
This will be easy to fail. I should think. Oh, meanwhile. Ooh, look how good our facial expression animations are. <laughs> yeah, well, that ain't that good. 3.3 .3 inches. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> If you use soap, you don't get zits. <laughs> <to that. laughs> A fantastic tip there. Right, don't call his name. Just turn. Oh, there he is. Oi! Hi there, Manfred. Who is it? Scott. Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Nope. Scott! Oh, yes, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Ten long years. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I, I Is this where we meet Sila? I love this episode of Heroes, yeah. <laughs> I used to watch that. How about you? Are you still with the police? Oh, no, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. I'm a professional alcoholic uh, this now. This is Lauren. She's a, she's a friend. Hello. Hi. Hello, young lady. Me too, then it was this, over. Yeah. This calls yeah. for a celebration. I'm just a thing. Wait there. This is why we've come. I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. I can assure you he saw it first, mate. That's why we're here. For the bottle of scotch. Well, I'll answer the phone for you. Do an old man a favor. Uh oh, Scott, tell I have to, to call back this afternoon. Nope. Sure, no problem. No, I'm not going to be doing that. I, I just want some, I just want a drink. God, he's taking a time about it. Come on, pour the drink. Then they're like, we're doing a don't reboot. Matter, I'll get it. And I said, neat, don't care. <laughs> yeah, lost interest. <laughs> oh, oh, she's got it. Yes, this is Manfred's, but he's not available right now. Can you oh. call back this afternoon? Thanks. Cheers, Lauren. I'm glad you're good for something. I'm just interested in this drink. Yes. Well, to old friends. To free scotch. Let's see if I can fail this. Nope. I, I just... I wanted him to do an airplane there, you know, with his drinking problem. Oh, another one down me. Here we go. Ah. Fuck the investigation. Do you like it? Like what? I don't know yes, what it is. It's beautiful. Oh, a music box. Okay. It's a Stradelli. No, Crafted it's a music in box. Venice in the 18th <laughs> century. Mm. It's one of my favourite pieces. Whoops! Smash! Look at him down in that bottle. Love it. Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? A Scott. I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. No, oh. let's have a look. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't have it on me. I'm just going to stare at you like this for a bit. <laughs> wait, wait for it. He's thinking about it. No, it's none of your business. Can I have another drink? Fine. Could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass oh. from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please. I'll get it. Lauren. My eyes are beginning to fail me. What was that? Anything but, right? 
some old shit. Uh, let's leave. Ooh. Oh, I hate that in these bloody games. I should be able to do what I like. Yeah, yeah, fine. Ugh. Give it to Lauren instead. Hey, do you need this to look at your Stradelli? No? Alright. Wait. Here, take it. Take. Take. Just that was a bit odd. Now let's see what this envelope has to say for itself. Well, it's a bill. Bill five. <laughs> Uh, yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Produced between 1907 and 1924. Yes. Nonsense. No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. Uh, don't say anything. Unless it forces me, it's going to force me. Are there many places around that could prepare one of these? I bought the company's entire stock as spare parts for a song in uh, 64. For a song? They were going to take them to the dumpster, so I got the lot. <laughs> you know, anybody around here who has one that actually works has been to see me at one time or another. Uh... Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. <laughs> Any chance I could get a peek at that? Uh. Yes, of course. I keep my account books in the office. Do you need the magnifying glass with them? If you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. Yeah, that would really help us out. Yeah, this is a very long-winded way of... Help. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. Ugh. You think the killer's been here? If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. Why couldn't he just bought a new one? Will you put that down? She's going to steal it. Ugh. That's a terrible shot. <laughs> is he going to come back out with this, or...? Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is locked, sir. A police oh. car will be there hey? in a few Hang minutes. on. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Wait, what? Bye, I'm out. He can't get a new one because the plot demands it. Oh, right. <laughs> hey there, uh, ooh, that's gonna be a hard one. Uh, I'm gonna call you just V, okay? <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Uh, what's happened here? Oh my god. He's dead. Oh god. Oh god, right. Time to leave. Scott? Oh my god. What are you doing? I'm calling the police. Right. The killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. There's a lot of blood for a heart so attack. What do we do? Watch the front door. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. Well, that Better means I won't. Fast. The police are going to be here any minute. Is this timed? Because if it's timed, I can just stand here and just let it all happen. What are you doing, sorry. Lauren? If someone comes in, we're going to be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. we got to get out of here fast. 
Did he just thrust his hips in her general direction? That was weird. Right. Let's just leave. <laughs> oh, no, no. That's not what I wanted. Alright, well, we'll do this one, right? Now can I leave? No? No. Oh. I mean, I've got to leave something, right? Let's wipe the wrong glass. Uh, the glass just sort of disappeared. Just <laughs> Can we go now? I want to do as little as possible. Let's see here. Is there anything completely obtuse that we didn't even bother touching? Well, Lauren touched that, but... Alright. Okay. Uh... Am I allowed to go back in here? Yeah. What's, what's in this door? God, he's so out of control. It's like... Might as well steal valuable items. Guys, Absolutely. Could it be much longer? The police will be here any second. I've almost finished. Yeah, I've almost finished. That's the thing. We should steal the music box. And his wallet. Hang on. Wallet? 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 No, no wallet. At least steal the bloody bottle of scotch. Now, if I touch that, he's going to wipe it. We don't want that. Okay. Oh, leave. Yes. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. You lying bastard. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Alfie knows. Alfie knows we've done a good job. <laughs> yeah. So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. And that's Immediately caught. Okay. You should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. <laughs> Listen, we had nothing to do with his murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Wow. Okay. They are really the worst police force in the history of police forces. I mean, I can't believe that they get away with this. No wonder he's walking around well, fucking... Well, well, Scott mm. Shelby. You're in trouble again? Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care. For old time's sake. Thanks, Carter. I owe you one. Hey, that's not fair. You on to anything at the moment? Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about what you got. They're all completely incompetent. I'm taking you home. This is getting way too dangerous. No way. We're partners, remember? We had a deal. Is she eating something? Right, don't say anything. No, it's going to force me to say the that. deal's off. I changed the rules. Whether you like it or not, you're going home. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. That's it. Yeah, that's it, Lauren. I'm not a child. I know what I have to do. Want to find my sense of you're not gonna stop. Cool. 
Khan is dead, Lauren. Getting yourself killed is not going to bring him back to life. She does sound. She sounds like she's either on drugs or she's got something in her mouth. Stop the fucking car! Oh, oh, oh. no, nope, I'm not. <laughs> she's not even doing anything now. Right. You're not gonna help me back in my Johnny. I'll do it on my own. Pardon? Right, run her over now. I'm not pressing any of these. Remorse, protect, excuses, Lauren. Uh, I've got to press something, have I? Let's see what excuses says. Such an idiot. No. I better catch up with her. No, no, no. Just leave her go, it's fine. Uh. Crap, I have no choice. I guess I'm doing this to protect her. Yeah, <laughs> he said matter-of-factly. Can I just go? Ah. Lauren! For God's sake. This is where we walk away. Right. He's not one bit bothered. Ah, it turned me around by itself. He's not bothered about the rain. Because that is some rain. And he's just like, yep. Are you a total failure yet? Not quite, Shadow. How are you doing? Him. Hope you're okay. Thanks for popping in. I miss him so much. I'd do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Caress. Just say sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. Bullshit. Uh, tired tonight, but trying to watch a bit before I call it a night. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you, Shadow. I am very well. Just thought I'd try and knock a bit of this on the head before uh, I forget that I'm playing it. <laughs> Unlocks a new bonus. <sighs> That's a lot of bonuses I'm never going to look at. Oh yeah, he's going to kill someone now, right? Which he's not going to. Oh, we have 3.3 inches. 3.366 inches. Right. Mess the door up. Hi. Yeah. What do you want? Oh, fuck it. Nope, not gonna do a thing. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Brilliant. I want my drugs. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here. <laughs> You're gonna cause me trouble, and I don't like trouble. Fuck off! Hey. Oh, wait, no. Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Yes, yes. Tell me what you need. I'm sure we can make a deal. Huh? I need dope and money. Oh. Hey, here we go. <laughs> oh dear, all these are being failed. What a shame. Oh, what's the press left? Oh dear, I missed that. <laughs> oh. Yes. God damn, punk. I'm gonna blow your brains out. 
Brilliant. <laughs> How's he not dead, right? He got shot at least twice. At least. Point blank almost. Okay, how is he stunned enough to be shot three times? Shot? I know, right? Yeah. He's fine, don't worry. He's been electrocuted, burned, shot, car accident. And the owner of the apartment it's fine. Is a Dr. Was it a BB gun? Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was airsoft. <laughs> he made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, I owe man. you one. Be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. All right. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Okay. Let's see. Avon Hi. calling. Uh, I was told that you could get bitropin. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Ethan gained resistance after his first son's incident. Right, okay. I, I, I really need your help here. I'm glad that's explained then, because hey. there's no other explanation for it. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. Well, he's not dodgy at all. That wallpaper. Holy shit. So, you're looking for Vitropid, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Bloody hell. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. Yes. Sure, why not? <laughs> I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Uh, let's just drink this. <laughs> Change the subject. Yeah. It's a tight neighborhood. People talk. Another drink. Of the poison chalice there. And another one. This glass never ends, which would be really handy in real life. God, God damn. Is she getting drunk? Surely not. It's not off a glass. I think it's just the camera waving about. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Excuse me? I'm not for sale. Damn. Let's have another one of these. <laughs> I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Darling? Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. <laughs> it's like all these Christmases have come up for once a year. She wants pills. She wants a house. Having She's getting trouble. drunk. But didn't your mother ever warn you about accepting gifts from strangers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Oh dear me. Oh god. Good job. Thank you, V. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of how that went. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. Yeah, just scream. So, you're interested in my Marble Street <laughs> I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But just enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to <laughs> practice. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. No, it's fine. Hold on. This might sting him. It might. Oh boy. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Have you ever noticed, as soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. What a blow. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't oh, I won't. Out. Don't you worry. Now, nah, don't start struggling. It's fine. Everything's fine. Right. Just watch this play out. <laughs> we could scream. No, nah, I'm not going to even scream. Sir, I come to bring you the word of the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I will gladly leave with you in return for a contribution of only five dollars. Five dollars for a Bible? Get out of here. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, his humble flock, should walk in his steps, for St. John has said... Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need anything. Oh my god, this guy. Need a Bible in these times of violence and hatred. The Holy Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility anytime you need it. All for mere five dollars. Look. Not him. Read my lips. No Bible for me. Buzz off. Yeah, buzz off, mate. Buzz off. Oh dear. Something tells me I should have pressed a button. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. Now you can scream. Test being interrupted when I'm operating. Now then. Where were we? Oh god. Do you believe it? Again! There's some days when I seem to be the most popular dog in town. What the fuck? Uh, Two seconds, and then I'm all yours. Wow. I mean, really? I mean, there must be a god. There really must be. You want to get hold of one of them Bibles? The Lord has decided to make a special effort with you, brother. He wants me to let you have this magnificent volume for a mere three dollars. Three dollars now. Just buy it. Alright. You oh. convinced me. Please step inside. Maybe you'll kill him instead. That'll be more interesting. That'd be funny if he just let her go. I've got this Bible dude now. Just give me a moment and I'll get you a three dog. Discount Bible, right? <laughs> I mean who wouldn't? Oh, well, that's what your Bible did for you. Right, now there's... Now there's no way he can be interrupted. Sorry right? about that. My next appointment has arrived a little early. But don't worry, we have just enough time to finish you off. Uh-oh. They're not going to show it.
Don't be afraid. <laughs> we'll make our last moments together excruciatingly memorable. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. That wasn't my fault. None of that was my fault. That was her fault. And his fault. And the Bible guy's fault. And Ethan's fault. It's not... No, Shadow, I won't allow that. I can't have that. It's not my fault. I think he drilled her to death. More than that, V, but... I think there's a good chance she's dead either way. Right, let's see what's happening here. We've got this idiot now. Right. Uh, where am I going? Oh, in here. Right. Thank you, camera. Hey, Quacker! Should have been a what screw gun. <laughs> nice. I like that shadow. Nam and Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from. Uh, does he look like he's going to tell you? Sorry, man. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. Oh, dear. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. You trying to scare me with your big talk? Pretty I much me, yeah. <laughs> Good theory. Walk. Yeah. <laughs> it's dysfunctional. Right, let's just... I'm supposed to get my glasses out or something, but we're going to follow him and see what happens. No, don't be doing that. Hey, let's just stand right here. You shall not pass. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose we'll have to get these out. Uh, let's do the old Matrix thingamajiggy. Oh, nope. This camera is dreadful. Alright, let's find what I need to find then. Ooh, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. Not much chance of analysing anything with this mod. Might stand a better chance of finding something in the garage. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Size 13. Must be Matt Jack's size. Really? Do you think? It's his garage. <laughs> hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. Have I just looked at that? Size 10. Oh. Most likely a visitor. Really? Blood. Now why is there blood here? Any number of reasons. It could have been an accident. It's a garage. There's workplace accidents in garages, you know. What is that? Oh, that's some bullshit right there. Holy shit, this guy's, uh... Uh-oh. One of your cop buddies asking too many questions. I had to solder up his little mouth. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. This don't look like it's gonna go well. Nope. Missed. <laughs> tut, tut. Don't die, Inspector Asshole. Inspector <laughs> Asshole. Oops. Hey, 
Don't fuck it around, or I'll pop a cap in your ass right here. He'd have shot him by now. Oh. What? What happened there? <laughs> Oh shit! I didn't think he was gonna do it. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two characters I've killed in about ten minutes. This is going very well. Fantastic. I can't believe that happened. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. We didn't no, want doesn't. him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? He spilled his oh, guts, alright. one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention what? the fucked up attitude to go along with it. Alright, what's he's in here? He's only a oh. suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I build up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. The trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. I'm starving. He still would have gone through them, though. Any uh, police... No chef, mm, but mind. I should be able to make some scrambled eggs, if you like. Scrambled eggs? Oh, I can do that. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to uh, warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? No. Be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. <laughs> you know what we're going to do now, don't you? And I hate myself for doing it. <laughs> we're going to have a little peek. Okay? Just a little peek. <laughs> Wait. Has she locked the- this is the kitchen, Scott. We don't want to make any eggs. Is- is it- Wait, this could be this door here. Oh, there we go. I should prep those scrambled eggs. You should, but what we're gonna do is try and get through this door. Nah, it's not having it, is it? Of course it's not. Never mind. Hey, you know, it was worth a try. Now, how do we fail with scrambled eggs? Oh my god, Scott. Okay, so we take the egg. Eggs. That were just lying in the fridge. We don't need a plate. We don't need a plate. We need a plate. With our pan, even. How do we fuck this up? We can't. Okay, you have to do it. I'm trying to pu push the, not push, put the controller the other way to do it, but it's not failing me. <laughs> right, let's go anti-clockwise. Oh, it still works, that's rubbish. Oh. Eh? Okay. Oh, you're supposed to do it slowly. Right, okay, sure. Ugh, that is an oogie mess right there. You don't need to put the cooker on. Shit. It's far too linear, this. Right, you're done. That is disgusting. That is not anything. That's not eatable. Okay. Uh, how do I turn? Right, that's done. 
<laughs> what the fuck? Who does... Alright. She's not going to be happy with that. Uh, if you gave me that and said it was scrambled eggs, I'd probably leave. Has she finished? Yes. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Bitch, that's my bathrobe. Looks better on you. It doesn't, actually. <laughs> there. Here's your uh, plate of slop. I don't really like raw eggs. Maybe I should have told you. Ooh. I'm sorry. I told you. I'm not a great chef. It's okay. Eat. 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 Eat the slop. I'm just... What's that? Yes. The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you she know, could have... Checking out the alibi of 30 clients one by one. To be honest... That's a lot of legwork. Mm, I think she could have Except covered herself up a little more. We cross-checked them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. But Lauren, wait. She's better at this than... That was just common sense. He would have done that before now. The man's an idiot. If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. She is uh, on drugs. Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. Yeah, just stand there his and don't do anything. Somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him. I don't want to help you, I want to eat eggs. <laughs> he keeps looking down her front. To be fair, 500 isn't that many to cross-check with 30. It's not that bad. It's not. It wouldn't take this long. The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you going to do now? 3.7 inches. Make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? She's better than you. Useless sack of shit. Oh, Alright, now what? Let's see if we can uh, ruin this woman's day over here. Nope. Alright. I mean, this could be anywhere. Have I got to literally find the right grave? Because that's just... This guy might know. I hope you're actually the curator... Well, not curator. The, the graveyard tender. And not just some random dude digging up. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Thanks. Where? Bill Jones. Straight ahead, a little further on. Oop, I'm missing them all. Hey, Lauren. Oh, there you go. I found it. Origami figures. That's one hell of a They would have collapsed in the rain. Come on. These flowers are fresh. Not that fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. Wonderful. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October, I think. Oh, don't. Oh. Yeah, good for nothing, hoodlums. Get the hell out of here. God, beat it, you lousy, no good brats. Come back when you fucking 
father comes home from work. He's wow. drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Play? Bitch can't catch me! But I can't. <laughs> I just gave up, look. <laughs> alright, alright. Yeah, I'm coming. <sighs> but bet you can't catch me. What just said shoot the kid in the lane? <laughs> yeah. Hey, give me that chance. Just give me that chance. Right, fail. No. We need to wait till he's up a bit. Ah, damn it. It's getting harder and harder to fail these. Right, everything's so linear now. <laughs> okay. Where does he keep running off to? Oi! Whoa! Oh, this looks like a right little playground. Failed. Oh! Did he bash his nose? <laughs> Ow. Oh dear. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> he, uh, he hit every single one. <laughs> okay. Let's try and do it. Oh no, I don't know literally how to do this properly either. What oh, there you go. Doing? You're coming or not? Okay. Bitch can't do that. I bet I can't. <laughs> Move your ass, I'm waiting. Uh, all right. <sighs> go that way. Did he go up here? Jeez, you're in nothing but a slow poke. You're a loser. You loser. I can't get up here because the camera won't let me. What you doing? You're coming or not? Try it. Whoops. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, there's no way. Whoa. Okay, right, we'll go the whole way now. Uh, no, you can't drop. He doesn't fall, look. How long is this going to go on for? Oh, 
Where did he go? Oh god, ran straight into the wall. Oh, there he is. You missed the most important part out of that. Motherfucker, there. <laughs> No it chance, is too I hard. Do right. Just watch. Oh, this is bullshit. Right, we'll get up halfway and then fall down. If the game lets me. Right, ready? Oh dear. See? No, he always manages to hang on. Terrible. doing anything. I literally have the controller set down and it's just playing by itself really. Unless I suddenly jerk it. That way. That would be very hard to fail. Oh shit, all my fingers are... Right, hang on. <laughs> nope, alright. Jump of death? I'm down for the jump of death. He didn't even look down, notice. Oh god, how'd you do that? Right. Jump of death failed. Nope, alright. Wait, can I just go down? Oh, he can look down. Bitch, I'm... Okay. Uh, damn it! <laughs> Shit. Alright. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Great job. Let's play hide and seek. Oh fuck that. You go and count to twenty and try to find me, okay? One. Oh, I've forgotten that account. What a shame. What comes after one? Two. Oh, that. Okay. Three. <laughs> four. Five. Six. Ten. ten Thirteen. 13 17. 20. Wow, what a dumbass. <laughs> okay, where is he? What? Oh. <laughs> How did that happen? My foot is stuck. Grab on. I'll throw I won't. I'm not going to even... Never returned. 
The poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Bye. Thanks for the extremely informative session. Christ, what a horrible story. Yeah. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. Yeah, no chance of that. <laughs> I annoy this woman? Hi. I'm a big alcoholic. No? Okay. Get a move on. Uh, she doesn't know what she's doing. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? He's got an umbrella. It's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? Oh. What's he doing here? Putting flowers on John Shepherd's grave. How strange. Well, wouldn't he know Scott Shelby was. I don't know. There's a few holes in this plot. You've got you haven't got any clues. Ooh, four point four inches. He has literally one clue to find this child. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit. Alright, I'll do it properly this time. I'm just trying to fail everything just to see. If something happens, that's all. You're out of luck, Ethan. The girl's dead. The FBI agent who believed you is dead. Just, just time to go to bed. Nope. Okay, we're getting back up. Oh, is there something in the fridge? Nothing. The last letters. 961 Rainbow Lane. I thought we were done for the clues. Guess not. He's, he's so... Look, he's not even bothered. Look, now. He's like, fuck it, what's the point? Time for a piss. <laughs> no flush, no wash, just go. There we go. Oh, Gotta find a way out. Nah, I'll just go out and meet them. They're okay. Hmm. No, leave the curtains open. Maybe we can hide in that closet. Hang on, let me just see what's... Why is the phone ringing? Maybe I should answer that. <laughs> I don't even know where it is. Oh. Hello? 
<laughs> that was great. Brilliant. That, that's made my day, that has. Nope, don't do anything. Arrested again. Don't move! <laughs> Lieutenant, I got her. Nice. The silly fool went and answered the phone. <laughs> oh, God. Right, it's all going Pete Tong here. I don't think this game's going to be uh, long for this world. We've lost two big storylines. Because Jaden's dead and Madison's dead. He's just been locked up again. No chance of saving the kid. My son's gonna die. You gotta save him. Please, save my son. <laughs> I beg you, you're his last chance. Save my son. It's got a little cat flap look. That's cool. <laughs> is that it? Are we? Is it, is it done? Because that's done, right? How else is this story going to proceed now? Apart from him, of course. Because essentially, he's just one. Go in here, then. You just left her in there on your own. Lord. On your own. I'm sorry, Scott. What? You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. Oh, wow. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. Oh. For good. Wow. Uh, Shadow, is Scott the origami killer? Have you never seen this being played before? Uh, Shadow. I wouldn't want to spoil it. But, Lord. yeah. <laughs> Shit. Oh wow, okay. Right. I'm just... Well, I'm not going to do anything. Oh no, I even own it too. I got it free when I got Detroit. This is how I got it. Yeah, I got it the same way. Um, I feel bad now. Sorry. I mean, yeah. I'm just waiting a minute just to see if it fails. It's a better game if you play it properly, Shadow. I mean, obviously, I'm just pissing about here. Um, but, uh... Okay, I don't think this is going to fail me like this. You mean this isn't the correct way to play it? <laughs> Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Nope, Lauren. I'm afraid it isn't. I'm hoping this is just going to kill him. Ooh! Oh, this is much more interesting. Did you ever play Until Dawn? I did. Yes, I did. I played it twice through with different endings, I think. This car is not filling up with water. I mean, it would have filled up by now, right? Uh, he has the heat on, so it's drying up the water. Of course! Of course it is. 
Why didn't I think of that? I think I've got to do this. Alright. Oh. Let's keep doing this. Nah, don't grab that. You don't need that. What's he doing now? Nothing's gonna work if I don't switch on that ignition. <laughs> well. I'm calling bullshit. Bullshit. But it's a good result, really. Because Lauren's gone now. <laughs> that there's no way. There's no way. That's. I don't know how to feel about that. I mean, he was dead there. He didn't. You don't just magically appear on the out it safely above water. Okay. Wow, okay. Nah. Right, let's see how we can fuck this up. Look, he's ready for action. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I failed that and he still shot him. Failed. Oh, right in the face! You got shot in the face! <laughs> you can't lose! <laughs> oh, he's been shot a bit. Oh no! <laughs> nice job! Very disappointed that I'm playing as the kid again. Uh, I don't know. Um, can we do anything with this? It's not. I mean, at least he sort of runs. Well, that's one saving grace. running as far away as possible. Oh, well, we'll speak to the... There's, there's the father there. Yeah. Dad, Dad, it's John! He, he found your pipe! Oh, He's coming! Oh, get out of here, you little pest! Where are we all? <laughs> come, Dad! Come on! John's gonna die! John's gonna die! Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to be, won't it? Wow. Go away! Please, Dad, I'm begging you! John's gonna die! John's gonna die, Why Dad! Why did I tell ya? Crap! <laughs> please, please, Dad, you've got to save John. <laughs> I 
tried, John. I really tried. But he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. <laughs> don't. Don't forget about this guy. I'll never let go. Grab his hand then. Grab his arm. Look at this bullshit. Wow, I mean, there's not much effort being made here. <laughs> God. Oh, very grim. What a fail. You got shot multiple times there, Scott. Multiple times, and you're still there. Still alive. No one seems to die. Okay, not much I can fail here. Is that safe? I don't think that's safe. Oh, he's burning all the evidence. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. <laughs> There's that old knock here. That'll explode. I feel like I failed everyone. <laughs> Love it. What's that? Oh, that was just a random notepad. Oh, right. Okay, right. That explains that. He did all that in that tiny amount of time it gave me where you didn't see him. Literally about a second or two. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Is that um, Sean, maybe? Well, his dad's locked up. There's nothing left for you, mate. I think you've had it. 5.8 inches now. If it stopped raining, his whole plan would go to shit. It can't rain every day, but it does. Wow, they really waved over this. I don't think they expected anybody to fail everything. The origami killer has taken a ninth victim. The body of Sean Mars was discovered this morning on wasteland north of the city. <laughs> yeah. The officer in charge of the investigation, Captain Leighton Perry, has resigned this morning. Oh, wow. Our main headline today. It is reported that Ethan Mars, the origami killer, has been arrested. Police psychologists are currently evaluating the mental state of the accused, and he is believed to have a serious psychiatric condition. He does. <laughs> oh dear. I almost felt bad for him then. Almost. Oh god, look at that. He has gone nuts. That's not helping his case, that making origami figures in his cell. <laughs> oh, 
Oh god, he's gonna hang himself! Fuck! Oh, bloody hell, don't make me do that. <laughs> Jesus. Well, game over. Journalist Madison Page was laid to rest in Charity Cross Cemetery today. Her heroic death while investigating the disappearance of Sean Mars has made a lasting impression on the whole country. Colleagues from the press are united in paying tribute to this courageous journalist who sacrificed her life in the search for truth. I'm Brittany Sanders for ICN. She didn't do that much. Like... Okay, Brittany, it's a wrap. Great. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Those pokey clap caps made me hungry. Wow. He's being buried in two days in some godforsaken hole in the back end of beyond near Washington. I have to attend as a matter of protocol. I'll pass. Jane and I didn't see eye to eye on much. No problem. <laughs> wow. I understand. Hey, sir, I still have his glasses. What should I do with it? Put them on. Well, S sell them. We won't be needing them again. Do whatever you want with them. Hey, you can put them on eBay. Do you have the glove with it? If you don't have the glove, then it's pretty much useless. You know? I wonder why he didn't put them on. Maybe he felt bad for a minute? I don't know. Oh, wait. Okay, right, so he has put them on. Right. Well, you don't have the glove, so you're fucked. That would freak me out, that would. Don't look behind you. <laughs> makes absolutely no sense. This, there's been an ounce of sense in that. Well, you're the only one left. <laughs> That's got to be one of the grimmest endings, like, I think that's probably the worst ending you can get. I'm very happy with how that's gone. I want to see them again. I'm a father too. What the fuck? Why is it so loud? <laughs> Go on. I'm just stunned. What, why it's so loud? <laughs> oh, 
I think it's going through all the terrible things I did. Yeah. What? That never happened. Maybe did that. I suppose it's showing what you could have done. Stay back. Don't come near me. Shoot. What a strange way to end it. Ever so weird. I don't know what to make of that. Here's what you could have won. fix the audio. I mean, why is it loud one minute and then not the next? Can I skip this? No? Uh. That's the additional stuff for the PS4 version there. All them are to blame. Sound was recorded at Abbey Road Studios. Wow. Shame they didn't get the volume right. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to wait the credits out in case there's a bit at the end. I enjoyed doing it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, made me laugh a lot. I can't believe you can't skip this. I think we're near the end now. Oh, I thought we were. <laughs> There's a lot of people involved, I get that. Wow, this music, something else, isn't it?
Oh, special thanks. No, no. It keeps threatening to be the end of the credits and then it there's more. <laughs> My God. <laughs> yeah, GG question mark, yeah. <laughs> Another blinder. Oh, thank God the music's dying down. Okay. Oh. Right. So, the first thing I'm going to do here before it starts up again. It was at 55, like, anyway. I enjoyed that, that was a lot of fun. Um, stuff like that always makes me laugh when you try, when you play something that you're not supposed to do, you know, it, it always makes me laugh. Um, the next one I'm gonna do is Detroit, and I'm gonna play that in the exact same way and see how fast we can fail that. I presume it will only be a stream's worth of content uh, after that, I don't know, maybe Outer Worlds or something. Something else I can fail. But uh, other than that, we're done. And I enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching. I'm going to get off. Um, thank you, Shadow, for sticking with that. <laughs> thank you, V and Alfie and uh, Mal uh, for all dropping in. Really appreciate it, as always. Thanks for the fun. Have a great one. You too, Shadow. You rest well. Get some sleep. I'm surprised you stuck that out that long. <laughs> but thank you very much for doing so. And, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you all very short. Oh, Shadow. Thank you so much. These are the 50 bits. That's awesome. That's made my day, that has. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, mate. That's so cool. You're the best. And also thank you to uh, Mal for that um, uh, sub as well to Alfie. That was, uh, you know, that's uh, it's really generous of you. Thank you so much, Shadow. Really appreciate it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to go. And uh, thank you again for that. That's awesome. And I will see you in another stream or my own or whatever or your own very shortly. So thanks for watching once again. See you later. Bye for now. Oh, I thought I was going, but uh, clearly not. Right. Bye for now. <laughs>